Hello and welcome. Ray Chrisman here from R.L. Chrisman Metalworks. Well, I got the mill drill cleaned up a little bit from that last project. Uh, as you can see, it's digital readout time. I thought I'd open up these packages so we can see what we've got. Do a short video just kind of looking at what we've got here. It's going to be... Uh, interesting here I'm going to have to figure out for sure which readout goes on this machine and which one goes on the lathe because I have I have one for each machine the readout itself is in this box but uh, like I said there's one for the lathe and one for the mill drill uh, the model numbers that are on the boxes are a different model number than what's on my uh, invoice so I'm not sure which actual readout goes with the mill and which one goes with the lathe so as I get farther along in this project I'll have to figure out which is which but um, actually maybe we can find out when we open this stuff up maybe I've got the right one I don't know but anyway let's uh, let's take a look at some of this stuff I'm going to move this box out of the way from the time it is And we'll open this one up. Pull this actual lead out out of the box here. Let's see what we've got. I can tell from this manual which readout goes with which machine here. This one here, this box, is SDS 2-2L. The SDS 2-2L it says that it's actually for a three axis grinding machine. So this readout should have three axes on it. No, it's just showing two the X and the Z. So that's got to be for the lathe. With an X and a Z axis, that's got to be for the lathe. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Let's put this back in the box. Get out the other layout. This should be the one for you. This one here is the SDS 6-2V. Let's open up this box and see what we've got.
little parts here. CS 6-2V is a two-axis four milling machine. And that's what this one is. So now we know which one goes with this mill drill. Let me pull this out of the box here. Looks like a cover to go over the unit it's mounted. that I bought for these machines I I bought from Birmingham the same place I got the, the lathe and the mill drill these are Birmingham unique DROs they, uh, they're two axis DROs I, uh, I didn't spend the money to buy a third axis it was quite a bit more but anyway this one is for the mill drill and like I said, it's just two axes, two axes. Um, this is the readout head itself. That's the cover for it. Looks like the mounting bracket or part of it. And some other little mounting pieces. This looks like clips for the wires. But anyway, that's the, the head for it. Let me move this stuff aside and I'll open up the other box and get the scales out. stuff over to the side here. part of the mounting bracket for the head. I've got to figure out where I want to attach that. I'm not sure where that's going to end up at yet, but it's been mounted either on the machine or on the wall, and this will swivel so you can space that head any direction you want it. Here's the cover for the other scale, the longer scale. Bunch of zip ties and clips 
in there for wiring and things. And we have some miscellaneous mounting brackets for the scales here. Four of them. scales themselves are in this tube. Let's see if we can get it open here. scales. This is the longer scale for the x-axis. Go ahead and pull that out of the bag here. A little better look at it. glass scales. There's the reed head. Slides across the scale. That's the longer scale for the x-axis. It'll mount along the back side here. I was going to put it on the front, but I, I don't want to uh, have to take this switch off and these locks off. So I'm going to mount that scale on the back side of the table. This scale here is the shorter one for the... Uh, y-axis and I'll have to figure out exactly where I'm going to mount it. Same thing the reed heads on here. The scale is actually inside there. And we have some more hardware here. Screws and washers. There's some shims in here. Screws and washers and shims. That one was with that scale. This stuff down here just a little bit. There's one of the brackets. There's another bracket there. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way temporarily. I'm going to open up this package. Oops, I think there might have been some hardware in that bag. Oops, there it is. 
cover for the shorter scale. There's all the parts to the DRO. Well, let me get the reed head up here. Guess that isn't all the parts, is it? Without the reed head. There's the reed head. And then I'll go ahead and open up this package. It's got the swing on it in here. actual bracket that'll mount I'm assuming right on there. The DRO the head will mount on there. If it goes that way. Mount it right there. It's a nice unit. So anyway, there's all the parts for the DRO that will be going on this RF31 mil drill. Like I said, this is a Birmingham unique DRO that I bought specifically for this mill drill. So there's the inventory on the parts kit for that. I think we'll stop this video right there. This will be the first video in the series on the installation of the DRO on the RF31 mil drill. And in the next video, we will go through the steps to start mounting this onto the mill drill. Again, thank you for watching, and happy machining!